Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We've got another best of 2017 for you today, and I'm going to be talking about contours, bronzers, and blushes. So if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. So if you're interested in seeing what my favorite contours, bronzers, and blushes were for 2017, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's start with contour. I have four contours here. One is a cream, one is a liquid, and two are powders. Uh, this one uh, was a new release this past year. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick, and I have it in the shade Amber. I just love this. It's the perfect tone. It is the perfect uh, formula. The consistency is so awesome. It blends really, really easily, but it doesn't blend completely away. I also don't feel like I have to sit there and blend for too long. And it's just, I don't know, it's just like the perfect shape for like the under the cheekbone situation. Yeah, when it came to these matchsticks too, I felt like they were really hit or miss. There are a couple that I really didn't like. I think there was one that was like kind of, I don't know, like a highlight conceal that was way too dry. But this formula for some reason in the amber is just, is just awesome, awesome. I love it. So this is my cream contour pick for the year. The liquid contour that I've been using the most is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand Easy Contour. I have some left, but I've used quite a bit of this. This is what I bring with me uh, when I travel because it's just so easy. The um, cap just pulls right off and then you can turn this on or off and squeeze and some product comes out of the tip here. So um, I think the sponge tip applicator is kind of gross and um, nasty to some people, which I kind of have to agree with. but. <laughs> but it's been working really well for me and I've had no problems with it and I just kind of just dab a little bit here I can use a brush or my finger to blend it in and it's it's so so easy and I think that was Charlotte Tilbury's uh, purpose for this wand this one and the highlighter wand it's just that she wanted something for like women on the go working women who uh, need something really really quick you know they still want a finished look but they just don't have time to sit there and like do makeup for hours so um, I think that's why she came up with these and yeah and I have to agree they're just super super easy to use and they work like a dream all right so I have two powder products left the first one is no stranger to this channel It's definitely not new for this year but it's definitely the one that I've reached for probably the most this past year this is the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow this bronze side is just awesome I love the formula of the powder it really just blends really easily it's pigmented but not too pigmented where it's like too scary when you put it on and the color is perfect it's not too cool and it's not too warm so you can use it to sculpt you can go ahead and use it to kind of bronze the rest of your face it's just great I just love it and the other powder product I've been using to contour is new this I believe this is new this year it's definitely new to me I think it came out earlier this year but I waited on it it is the Tarte clay play face palette and it's this shade right in the middle here desert absolutely love it to contour it's it's really beautiful it's awesome and it's a very matte contour where the film store bronze and glow has I mean, it's far, far from shimmery, but there's, uh, it's like a demi matte. There's a little bit something there, and the Tarte one is completely matte. So I've been loving these two powders for sculpting. All right, so let's talk about bronzers next. The one bronzer that stood out to me that was a release this past year is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. Um, I have it in the shades Medium and Tan. And you would think that's too dark for me, but these run really, really light. So here is the tan uh, bronzer, and here is the medium. They're fairly close, but the tones are a little bit different. The tan has much more of like a red undertone. This one is much more of like an orange warmy undertone. But let me just swatch them for you. Let's see if you can see the difference. So this one is tan. So there is the tan. And these are like a baked bronzer, so they go on pretty lightly. Like, so if you use like a really soft brush, you get like a really nice sort of sheer wash of it. Um, and here is the medium. So here's tan and here's medium. Really, really pretty on the skin. They look a little glittery in the pan, which is why at first I didn't purchase them. But um, another YouTuber talked about them. I can't remember which one. I think it's Natalie from Flower Bomb 31. And she mentioned that they looked glittery but don't come off glittery on the face. So that's when I thought, okay, well, let me give it a shot. And she was totally right. So you'll see like little fine, like micro glitters in there, but 
they don't come off on the skin. You just get like this really kind of nice sheer satin finish and, and you can see that the tones are really, they're just really, really pretty. So yeah, I would completely, if you're interested in getting these, I would completely bypass like the lightest shade, the lightest tone, because it is, unless you're like incredibly, incredibly fair, it's pretty much useless. So go straight to the medium tan family. I think you'll be much happier with those. And then the next powder bronzer that I reached for a lot this past year, I'm not sure if this is a new release in 2017. Uh, it's just, it was definitely just new to me this past year, but this is the Lila B. Uh, be sunkissed bronzer and it's like a kind of like a split pan here there's two shades one's lighter one is darker um, they're obviously not big enough to kind of just use one or the other especially if you're using like a typical bronzer brush so I just use both this one also has like a really nice satin finish to it it's just really really pretty let me go ahead and swatch for you so there is the Lila B. You can see that this is lighter um, and more sheer than even these two. Sorry, my puppy just walked in. Hi, baby. Um, you can see that it's lighter and more sheer than these two from Bare Minerals. So the Lila B, uh, typical to the line, is very sort of subtle and natural. Uh, sort of glow. So I do love this one. And then I have two bronzers um, that I also reached for quite a bit this year, but they're definitely not new releases from 2017, but I thought I would mention them since I use them quite a bit. What's wrong? So I've got the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder Java Sun bronzer here, and I've swatched it on my arm right here. It's a really beautiful matte bronzer. So if I'm feeling like I just don't want any more sort of shimmer or shine on my face, maybe I've got lots of other stuff going on, I'll reach for this bronzer since it's just matte. And I really like it. It's pigmented. It blends really well. It's a nice tone. It's definitely on the warmer side. So I think if you have like a coolish kind of skin tone, it may come off a little bit too orangey on you. Um, but otherwise, it's very, very pretty. And then last but not least, another one that is not new to 2017 is the Tom Ford Gold Dust. This is in the original formula, um, not in the kind of like baked formula that they came out with. This is just like a kind of straight up typical powder. And I happen to prefer this formula better than the newer one. The newer one I find, I don't know, a little bit difficult to pick up. So anyway, um, this is gold dust. It has little reflex of gold in there and it's just a really beautiful bronzer. I just love it. It has like the right kind of tone to it. It's just gorgeous. It's sort of sheer. It's sort of in the same family as like the Lila B. I feel like it gives you just like a really natural wash of color. Uh, without being like too overly pigmented or too difficult to blend in. It's just really, really beautiful. This bronze, um, I just want to mention quickly, I really didn't want to mention anything too new since this was like a year-long roundup, but I did mention this in my December favorites and I just want to throw it in now. But this is the Sicily Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. This bronzer has like completely won my heart. It is so gorgeous. It is so silky and you just can't believe like the finish it gives. I'm gonna swatch it up here. The finish it gives, I love the color. It, it's um, slightly warm. It is just such a gorgeous wash of color. It's like sheer, but it builds fairly quickly and all of a sudden you look like this bronze goddess. It is just such a lovely bronzer and it has, um, I don't know, I feel like saying it has a satin finish doesn't even explain it enough. It is, it's like a silky finish. It's it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. You have to try it to believe it. So even though this is really new to my collection, I thought it was worth mentioning. All right, and finally, blushes. So I have one cream blush and the rest are powders. The cream blush I wanted to mention is the Tom Ford Paradiso blush. I love this. It is such a beautiful shade and then it has like a gold reflect to it. It's so stunning. It's so, so pretty. Obviously you would blend that out as blush, but it gives such a nice flush to the skin. Absolutely love it. If you're into cream blushes, I highly recommend that one. So this next blush I want to mention is a powder blush. And this is the first blush I thought of when I started to think about this category and what I loved the most this past year and this is the cheek pan right in the middle here of this Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette beauty glow palette and this color is so 
unique and it's so perfect. It is, it's this shade right here. It's like, it gives you that sunburnt look. It, it's just perfect. Again, if you have my skin tone, it gives you that sunburnt look. It's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous and I wish, Charlotte Tilbury, if you're listening at all, hi, first of all. Second of all, can you please turn this into just one big pan, one gigantic pan of this color? I would be so happy. Please do that. Thank you. And then these are relatively new. These were kind of latecomers this year, but this is the MAC Robert Lee Morris collaboration. And I have um, all three of the blushes, but one I actually consider a highlight. So the two blushes that I have is this one. This is Rhubarb, and this is like a really deep, dark cranberry color. Really pretty. And on my skin tone, you have to use a pretty light hand but it has a really nice golden satiny shift. And then the other one is Linda, and this one is a much more typical kind of uh, blush color. It's peach, it's really beautiful. Again, it has like a little bit of a metallic sheen, just gorgeous, really, really pretty. And I've also got a Tom Ford blush. This is in Inhibition. This one I reach for if I just want like a really natural, sort of glow to my cheek. It's not as, obviously, it's not as bold as some of these other ones I have. It's right down here, this last swatch here. It's just a beautiful flush to the cheeks. It's a um, little bit peach, there's a little bit of pink in there. It's not completely matte, but it's not um, shimmery or glittery at all. It just has like a really beautiful sheen to it. It's just gorgeous. I just love this. So that is Inhibition from Tom Ford. And then last but not least, I think is the blush that I reached for the most this past year. And I got this way at the beginning of the year. I think maybe this was released at the end of 2016. But this is the Hourglass um, Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette. I love all the shades in here. I probably use the one in the middle the most, which is Brilliant Nude. It just is gorgeous. It's what I have on my cheeks today, um, and I just absolutely love it. It has not as much glitter in it when you put it on your cheeks as you see in the pan. It's a little bit intimidating when you see it in the pan. You think, what is gonna happen on my face? It's just a really beautiful color. Here is Brilliant Nude and it just kind of just warms up my cheeks. It's so funny because it doesn't seem, it never ever seems very dark. You know, when I put my um, brush into it and I look at my brush, it always seems like I don't even have any like blush on there. It seems like I have more of like the lighter um, swirly marbled color in there. But once I apply it to my cheeks, it seems like it just comes alive, like it just needs to be warmed up by my skin. It's just gorgeous. Let me go ahead and swatch the other two. This one is Incandescent Electra. This is the more peachy one, and I'm running out of room. So this one is super bright. Again, here's Brilliant Nude, here's Incandescent Electra, and then the last one is Euphoric Fusion, which is like this purpley one at the end. That one's really pretty too. This purpley one comes off much more neutral on my skin tone than you would think. You think it'd be a little bit too plum for you, but it really comes off very, very neutral. The incandescent lecture is very bright and the brilliant nude is just a nice flush of color. So those were my favorite contours bronzers and blushes for 2017. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.